Okay, hello everyone. Time for another update for my Attack from the Multiverse project. So it's been a while and as you will see later on, it's because I still have a lot of units to do. But I think it's good that I'll be sharing what I'm planning for the Undead and the Night Elf. So as you can see here, I'm focusing first with the Undead. So, so far I am only planning on, I can only think of two skins for the undead so we have the burning legion and the uh ebon blade so i think i've already made a video for the ebon blade basically it's just a death knight version of all the undead units and then of course we have the burning legion uh skin which is the least developed so far as you will see later on so again we have the first ones the necropoli And then you have the Halls of the Dead, Black Citadels, and then we have the Ziggurats and the different tower upgrades. The Altar of Darkness, the Crypts, Sacrificial Pits, Graveyards. Well, in the case of the Burning Legion, we have the Shrine of Kiljaiden. Slaughterhouses, Temples of the Damned, again a different one for the Burning Legion, you have a Dimensional Gate, although to be honest I'm not really sure what the Frostworm equivalent will be for the Burning Legion. And then you have the uh, Hunted Gold Mines, unfortunately there's this uh, glitch I'm encountering with the Gold Mines, I'm having a hard time uh, replacing the original one. So I'm, I think I'm gonna be explaining that one in a different video. Uh, I need help with, I think you need to use triggers in order to uh, create the alternate versions of the original gold mines. Anyways, we have the Tomb of Relics. And now for the units. So again, compared to the humans and the orcs, the undead are very undeveloped. So again, I barely, I don't even have any, well for the most part, I don't have any skins for the Demon or Burning Legion yet. And then for some of the units, we already have the Death Knight versions for the Acolyte, the Banshee, the Necromancer, and the Abomination. As for the heroes, we already have the Lich and the Death Knight. So as you can see here, I'm using the Paladin, uh, Death Knight version of the Paladin, which is mounted on uh, the Death Knight horse, kind of resembles the uh, World of Warcraft uh, Death Knights instead of the original one we have here. And then so far, the only unit I'm, I think I'm gonna be using is the uh, Ras Lord, which is going to be the equivalent of your Lich. So again, list develop the undead. Now let's go for the night elves. Now for the night elves, I'm planning on adding four factions so far. We have the, of course we have the original one. Although if you can see here, uh, I'm kind of going to be mixing up or mixing up some of the original units. So as you can see here, the original sentinels is going to get my summer version of the tree of life. Well, a different faction will get the original ones. Uh, as you can see later, you'll see why. Now, anyways, for the Night Elves, we have the original Kingdom of Queldrassil. Kind of like a Blood Elf version, but the tech tree is still the Night Elves. And then you have here, uh, you have, uh, it's not yet, I haven't done a Tree of Life version yet. But there's going to be a Naga version so i'm thinking of making a coral version of the different ancient buildings but again it's not yet here and then we have a satyr version of the night of tech tree and then finally we have an alternate version of your night of units not necessarily corrupted uh, as we'll see later on so anyways we have here the different trees of life and then we have the trees of ages again 
no naga equivalent yet. And then we have the trees of eternity. Now, so you can see here, I've made an edit in the corrupted version. So instead of your butterflies, you have bats flying around. Anyways, again, fortunately, I haven't done any edits for the uh, moon wells yet. Although there's actually a corrupted moon well in game already. So I kind of forgot. Anyways, for the naga, we we'll have the usual coral bed. All Although it's gonna be functioning like the moon well, so as you can see here. Now for the altars, we have kinda differing ones. So you have the original one, the one for the blood elves, which kinda resembles the human altars. And then you have the naga altar. So no altar yet for the satyrs. And then you have here the altar of watchers for the alternate, I know, I'm gonna call it the black moon army. So kind of like a more darker version of the Night Elves. Not necessarily corrupted as I said. Fortunately, no. Uh, see, if you noticed, I'm kind of doing a season type for the Night Elves. So you have here, this is kind of like the spring version. This is a summer version. And this is a fall version. So the Blood Elves get the fall version. The alternate, uh, different Night Elf uh, is going to get the spring version, and then the original is going to get all the summer versions. Okay, so we have here the Ancients of Lore. So again, uh, different. The original Night Elf will be getting the summer version. So the original version, which kind of resembles the fall one, goes to the Blood Elves, and then again, no Naga yet. You have the corrupted version, and then the spring version. Unfortunately, none for the Ancients of Wind. And then we have the Hunter's Halls. So again, original, a Blood Elf version, the alternate Night Elves. And for the, uh, again, a, a bit of a switcheroo for the uh, Naga, the spawning grounds is renamed as the Shrine of Ajara, which serves as the uh, upgrades building. Again, Gonna make uh, still no skin, uh, quote unquote skins for the ancient protectors, unfortunately. And then again, this is the last replacement. So you have the summer version of your Chimera Roost. The fall version goes to the Blood Elves. And then again, uh, if you notice, this is actually the uh, Ajara, uh, Shrine of original Shrine of Ajara. It's been renamed to the Spawning Grounds. As for the units it summons, not really sure. I'm still working on my Naga unit. Maybe it's the Hoatil. But so again, it's going to be a counterpart to the Chimera. Again, no Satyr version yet. But we have here the alternate Night Elf version. And then, again, no alternates for your Ancient of Wonders. Now for the units. So again, at least it's uh, it's less developed than the orc, but at least it's more developed than the undead. Well, I think so. Unfortunately, we don't have any wisp alternates yet. As far as I know, the wisp is the wisp is basically just a glowing orb, which has the portrait of. Uh, I think this is the priest, although it uses a different texture. So maybe we can have uh, different uh, portraits for the wisp for the different functions. But so far, there's none. As for the archers, again, we have the original. The, this is a blood elf. This is different from the... Uh, this is different from the in-game high elf, mind you. And then we have the naga archer. So kind of like the siren, but with the... Uh, animations of the sea witch and then you have the huntress you have a blood of version and this is one of my latest creation the naga huntress so instead of the tiger you have the snapdragon and again you have uh, sort of the naga siren riding it unfortunately we don't have any uh, ballista equivalents yet 
Now, as for the dryad, well, the, for the dryad itself, I don't have any alternate versions yet. But for the naga, this is again one of my latest creations, the naga centaur. So this is going to be the dryad equivalent for the naga. Then we have here the druids of the claws. So we have a blood elf version and a. This is the alternate version. Again, no alternate versions for the mountain giants yet. For the hippogriff, again, none. Now, so far, the only ones complete are the druids of the talons. We have the original, the blood elf, and then we have a different uh, one for the naga again, recent creation. We have the Wind Witch, kind of like a Naga version of your uh, Harpies. And then it has an alternate uh, animation stances, one that is grounded. So this is meant to be the equivalent of your Druids of the Talon. And then you have here the satyr version. And then lastly, an alternate version of your Druid of the Talon. Still a Night Elf. Again, unfortunately, no alternatives for your Fairy Dragon and Chimera. For the uh, Keeper of the Grove, we have the satyr version. And then we have the alternate version. Basically, a hooded version of your Malfur Malfurion model. And then you have here the Priestess of the Moon and the Priestess of the Sun. Unfortunately, no equivalents yet. Then finally, almost complete, the Demon Hunters. Again, a different... I'm using a modified version where I've textured the demon form. You have the Blood Elf version. And then my latest creation, again, a Naga Demon Hunter. And then we have the Satyr version. And then lastly, we have the Wardens. Again, the original... Uh, I've replaced the original, so as you can see here, the... Original ward then kind of uh, uses a model that resembles the Huntresses. And then you have the Blood Elf version. Now, my idea for the alternate uh, Night Elf faction is the Black Moon Army. I'm going to try to retexture the other Night Elf units, such as the Archer, Huntress, and Priestess of the Moon, with the armor of your uh, original warden. So uh, let's see where that goes. Anyways, for the other units, uh, so far no equivalent for your Hippogriff Rider. And then we have here the different versions of your Ants. So you have the Fall version for the Night Elves, a Corrupted version for your Satyrs. And then again, you have the Spring version for your uh, Alternate Night Elves, the Black Moon Army. I keep forgetting that. And then you also have here the summons of your warden. So the original avatar of uh, vengeance is basically just a shadowy figure, kind of like the demon original demon version of your demon hunter. But I'm going to be trying something like uh, this. So if you notice, the spirit of vengeance model uh, is more or less a trans a little transparent version of the uh, campaign only unit, the watchers. So I'm trying to do, uh, using the same technique, I'm going to be using it for the uh, Avatars of Vengeance as well. Instead of just using uh, completely shadowy uh, texturing. So as you can see here, you can actually see the details of your Warden more. Although again, it's transparent and dark. And again, that's it for now. So it's gonna be a long one. I still have to do some of the units for the orcs and even some for the humans but I guess over time I'll be able to 
finish it so uh, i hope you stay tuned and that's it for now